Hey, Viddy.Space, you're watching a Ghost Crier um, doing, doing that thing. Hey, my name's Aaron G. Thompson. We got Jared behind the camera. I positioned Kelly and Nick in two locations um, in this awesome, awesome up-class uh, bar. It's a martini bar. It's called The Phoenix. Um, it, it's in downtown uh, Quad City area here. And there has been some uh, reports actually uh, early on, early in the year, about January, um, someone approached me and said, hey, I uh, heard some stories that some employees are experiencing some things here. And uh, a couple months ago, reached back out to me and said, hey, have you guys done the uh, martini bar yet? I said, oh, crap, no, <laughs> I haven't. So here we are, I reached out to the, to the owner, which actually I used to work with the owner, found out previously, so it's pretty awesome to, to see her again. And, um, get welcome to this place. We have full access. It's um, closed up right now too for us so we can do this. Um, so we're just gonna rock out this uh, live moment one take for you guys for the haunted dot space. So uh, check us out on ghostcry.com guys. We're a place where we're full functioning unit. All right, Jerry, let's do this. As you can see, the EMF is kind of going off a little bit. One thing, if you shake it some, it goes off and there's like crazy Wi-Fi and all sorts of stuff here. Um, the other floors don't have as much stuff. We'll keep an eye out on that. Um, but let's have the, uh, let's have the Necrophonic really be our driving force. Up to Kelly. Hey everyone, you're hearing yourself. My name's Aaron G. Thompson. Um, so this is, so this is working. Um, Thank you guys, by the way, for uh, letting us into this awesome bar. What's the name? What's the name of this location we're at right now? Can you let me know? This is going on TV. The Phoenix. Can you, can you guys say that one more time? I think I heard it. I just want to make sure we get a clear one. Your problem. I said you're something. No. So, he said, this, this is not happening. It's happening, guys. Hey, get a shot of that awesome picture right there. Boom. I'm not sure if you hit the light. <laughs> Phoenix, guys. It's like art or something. Yeah, right? Art. Slash art. Guys, follow us around. We're gonna have a party. What's your favorite drink here, guys? Pop. 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 Said mixed flavor. Maybe Paradolia is kicking in, guys. <laughs> appreciate you guys speaking through us uh, through the vacuum. Um, <laughs> so we know that this is uh, working. Can you do me a favor? Can you say, can you say my name? Just so let everyone know that this is working. My name's Aaron G. Thompson. Can you say that? Yeah. Go ahead. Can you guys try it again, Aaron G. Thompson? <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> it's something. This is the magic, guys, or this is a, the devil's work. We're speaking with you. Surprise, we can do this now. Badly, but we can do this. <laughs> Yeah, it's not quiet. I'm gonna take off the white noise. 
So just the reverb and just the phonemes guys going through. Um, so can you try my name again, guys? Can you? No. Man, man, I said that. Can I get that one more time? My name, Aaron G. Thompson. No. Thompson there. We'll take it. Some of these are, um, it's not the easiest method for spirits to speak through. It is a good uh, tactic, but we need to improve our methods on what we do. I feel like we don't need it as loud. We need to, deep more into, we need to dig deeper into the uh, uh, the alpha spectrum or even beyond that. So we got ideas, we got plans. For now, we thank Keith over at chillseekers.com for allowing us this application. Um, who's in this room with us? We're gonna enter this room. Who's in this room? God. God? <laughs> Said the dead mostly. <laughs> what's, what's her name? <laughs> Who, who's in this room? Spoiler, Kelly's in the room, but I'm not quite, not quite getting it. Please. In here. How cool is this room? What was this room used for? What? What'd you do in this room? What do you do in this room? You say dance? <laughs> Would someone dance with me? Oh. <laughs> I got the phoning guys. It's middle school all over again. <laughs> oh, guys. <laughs> said Amber. I said listen, Amber. <laughs> I'll try something real quick, guys. I'm on the dance floor. I got this yellow thing on my chest. Who thinks they can dance with me? It's electric. Woogie, 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 woogie. It won't hurt you. You guys, can you touch my hand? I'm holding this, it allows you to know I'm here, it doesn't hurt you. Can you dance with me? Why? Why? <laughs> I can. <laughs> this ain't douchebag. Everybody's in credit. Any any takers? Grab my left hand if you want to dance. Actually, you know what? Probably grab my right hand. The colorful one. Thank you guys for trying. I appreciate that. I know some of you guys are trying here for me. It's not, again, the easiest tool to use. But, do you know what the easiest tool to use is? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so rude. This is why they call me douchebag. You just called Kelly a tool? I, the greatest. It would be a show if they did. Yep. That's what happened. Okay. <laughs> guys, everyone. Please, that is just Hello. I'm Kelly. They know who you are, I guess. Right. At this <laughs> point, hopefully yeah. you guys have seen me once or twice. So, um, I am the psychic medium on the team and they stuck me on second floor for some reason. It's been interesting. Cool, tell us a little bit about it, please. Um, I don't know what information you have and I don't know what information they want out about the location. <laughs> um, um, I think they're open for, for, for it all. So when we originally walked onto the floor, um, we had talked about a game that we're going to play at some point throughout tonight and I said this would be a great floor for it because part of what they showed me was almost like a casino floor. 
with tables set up and oh, people sitting and playing games. that's illegal. Well, no, it wasn't. I know. But, <laughs> but neither was the alcohol they were serving. 20s. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, nor, this was a big gangster area. I was going to say, nor was running a mafia. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so um, how ironic gosh. were we using this, passwords to get in the door earlier today? This, this was very much a mob hot spot. No doubt. This place has a lot of history. This is one of the older original buildings in the in the city. And again, uh, um, uh, Looney, I can't think of his name now. A uh, big famous mob. Can't think of his first there. name, yeah. 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 Um, John Looney. John Looney. He, uh, look him up, guys. Fascinating. And he's uh, around the area. Um, did a lot of work, but there's also um, so some other gangsters. Uh, I believe Capone went through the area. Um, well, and I don't know what the boss's name is because he hasn't told me his name. I'm actually talking to the son of the boss, whose name is Terrence, goes by Terry. The original boss, uh, right? Not, right? Not like the boss of the business. The, oh, okay. Terry. The boss. Okay, all right. Um, not Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> no, not that boss okay. either. Right. Um, but just telling me kind of how they had things set up that they would have right. people stationed kind of at each corner of the building. And this one was to see if people were coming into the building that they needed to close things down. If you got seen going out the back door, that was not good for you. Oh! Into the alley was not the way to leave the building. Oh, wow. Um, it was funny because at one point I got, there's a lot of money that passed through here and I thought, well, was it a bank? And they're like, yeah. Well, we're not yeah. too far from the bank. I'm no, right. it was not a bank. But there was an awful lot of money. The bank is literally next to us. I think there's a bank, right? Yeah. Yep. The next building's over is a bank. Yeah, this was not bank money they were talking. Do you, do you, I mean, I'm sure the buildings were connected. Do you think there might have been some bigger connection? And I mean, um, that's just... Were they working together? Potentially, he didn't confirm that, but well, I saw a lot like... of money passing hands. Wow. Um, okay. The funny thing was, you would think, with it being a mob boss, that right. he was mean, and he really wasn't. He was just kind of like, almost like, almost like he kind of created it to hold his own, like he had to, to save himself, and that's where he got to where he was. So, not right. that there weren't still some shady things that he did, wow. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that was... Very much what I was getting. I got none of the dancing, none of the pretty dresses, none of that on this floor. I'm getting all mafia and drinking and gambling. Um, guys club, prostitutes. Okay. Not on this floor, obviously. This, this floor. was the business floor. This was the business floor. This was the business okay. floor. Okay. I mean, they were here, Better. but that's Past not through. where right. they worked. Let's uh, just put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> to the closet. Yeah, I don't want to. Oh, gosh, you know. Uh, yeah. I haven't seen third floor, so I can't say if orbs uh, everywhere. But uh, I'm, yeah, getting guys so orbs. Am I right? Um, wow, wow, that's that's pretty uh, <laughs> accurate to the area. I, I guess I put that out of my mind. But this was a heavy, uh, heavy influenced area of, of that time frame. Do you know out the windows between those two buildings? Was there another building there? Um, Point, point and a half. Well, it would be the one straight across. Okay. That building's new, so I can't, that's mine. Plus, it's not tall enough. Right. Okay. Okay. You're saying that there's another. I'm asking because hey. one of the things that I got too as I was looking out this window is that somebody would watch them through the window. And I thought, well, it had to be that building. Right. But they're like, no, that was not right. So I didn't know if maybe there was another building there originally. Or maybe the Naya knockdown, maybe further back building? I don't know. Okay, we don't know the distance. That'd be interesting to, to research that and kind of follow up maybe on our social spaces or even on, on a video vlog or something. My logical brain went to it had to be that one because right. that one doesn't have the right angle. And they're like, no, it wasn't that building. Huh. Yeah, I'll uh, get Travis on that. Um, see, if, see if he can kind of dig into... Uh, but they had the angle to be able to watch okay. in the windows. Kind of, uh, are we talking maybe uh, spy or voyeurism? 
A bit of both. Uh, people who wanted to know what they were doing. Okay. Um, I don't know if it was cops or if okay. it was a rivaling mob. Okay. Uh, okay. Or, or, or mob or I don't know. Just an old man. Going, I don't. What's going on over there? I don't. Well, no, it wasn't, it wasn't just. No, okay. It wasn't, wasn't just the noisy, pop, pop. nosy neighbor okay. watching. That's it was. Huh. They wanted to know what was happening in here. No doubt. No doubt. I think it'll be nerve wracking. Even it'll be risky for someone to look in here. I oh yeah. Feel. Yeah, and yet they didn't cover the windows. They left the windows completely open because that was my thought too. I'm like, yeah. if you're doing all of this and you don't want to get caught, close some damn windows. It's fear. They're owning the city. They, they. they yeah, I mean, it's, it's not fear. It's being it fearless. Was, yeah, it was almost like, yeah. what are you gonna do about it? You know? Wow. So wow. It was like they knew that they had every potential of getting caught, but they knew that they wouldn't. And yet, they always had people stationed um, in the corner watching just to make sure. And that corner to watch if people were coming in the back. So Terrence is the son's name. Terry. Terry, Terry. Terry. Um, it, it, Terrence, yes, but he does not uh, like Terrence. Oh, sorry about that. But Terry? Um, the cops, coppers, did they work uh, with for? Some were um, for, some were okay. against. I mean, Depends again, on how kinda, much they paid them. Wow, that's crazy. Just like in the movies. Just like in the movies, guys. Most of them chose to turn their eye and not pay attention, not just to them, but uh, to all of the activity in the <clears throat> area because it wasn't worth their life. Yeah, no, it's scary. Now you're, gosh, that was such a scary time. Yeah. I mean, they couldn't do their job. And of course the, the civilization around was- And you knew who, to, who not to mess with. Yeah. Grab that EMF detector. Not there, that one was. You know what, just for funsies, I'll leave this here with you. I, mean, I know we're not gonna have a camera so much on it, but um, yeah, we're gonna visit Nick. Um, not really tell him what you told us. Let's see if we can't pull some stuff out of the SP7 that kind of correlates to that. Um, yeah, of course. I didn't think or even have that mindset, but that's like did on, like I said, in the area. So. Well, and I tried to switch over to see, you know, it had to have been used for things other than that, but they just kept pulling yeah, it back yeah, to yeah. that, so. I'm sure that had so much, I mean, can you imagine the energy, the residual of the moment? The, I mean, it just, the, the imprint, the capture. Um, gosh, cool. It was, yeah. Um, we and have, they could see quite a ways that way. So obviously that parking ramp was uh, not there, but they could see quite a ways uh, that way too. Well, uh, we'll, We'll do a session, a couple sessions with Nick up there, and then we're gonna come back down here with you. Um, and we'll meet over and um, we'll play a game. We'll play a game. It's gonna be that knife game. Have fun right. with that. But you, but it. <laughs> now I'm the one who's who's gonna be. No, it's oh. They're gonna channel through me. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No. 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 It's like, seems like a don't get bad paid enough idea. for that. This is just a bad idea. Patreon.com slash get to America, guys. We need money. Support so our can, medical bills. Yeah, support, we have no medical insurance. Jared, let's go up to the hot box. Kelly, thank you so much for your information. Awesome. Oh, you know what? Wrong way, guys. Sorry. Get out of the way, Kelly. Move, psychic. Get out of the way. <laughs> All right. Six. I'm innocent. I did nothing. Stairs, guys. Am I right? I'm gonna turn this bad boy back on.
I'm using the uh, necrophonic application once more. We'll switch to Spiritus to conclude things, but we're going to still learning this application, guys, for special education purposes. So, can you tell me again what's going on upstairs? What's here now? What's the bar below, Claire? Um, 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 Aaron Thompson, yeah. I'm not the bar, though. Is he, is he possessed? Is this going to be like the conclusion of Ghost Crier? I found a hammer. I felt like holding it. What's, what's he holding in his, in his hand, guys? What do you set down? There's free floating energy up here. Check this out. Oh, yeah. The EMF detector was. Uh, There's a piece uh, right in here, actually. Wait, is it free floating? Yeah, watch, watch. Here. See it? See it reacting? Yeah. Oh, watch. It drop down and it goes away. Uh, and you come back up. We lost it. Just give me a minute. I'll find it again. We're back in it. It's gone. I'm back forward through it. It's gone. Back into it. Come what? up. What? It's gone. We lost it again. We're back in it. Go towards Aaron. It's gone. Um, guys, the fun thing about the uh, about what we just witnessed there, the free floating energy, um, those read radiation, electromagnetic fields. So they radiate, radon down in the basement can pull up, um, but they radiate. There's no such thing as free floating radiation. That is the phenomena. Whether it's a spirit or not, that's to be determined. But the uh, electrons themselves or the, the uh, neutrons, they they can't. Um, just show up. They have to be there by science standards. So that it just manifests and then it serves like a tiny planet and has, uh, you know, well, the electrons at that point around it. Um, it's fascinating. It's fascinating because, again, that very well, <laughs> that, was, that was pretty cool actually. That was and cool. There's something right here. Kelly, is anybody standing here with us? <laughs> <laughs> right here? Busted. I was supposed to be up here. Oh. Live. <laughs> we have a boy They just wanted to see third floor, so I followed. Gosh. We, I just had to go, Kelly stay here. And we had a he left me up here. I've been up here for like 85 minutes. He had a stowaway. We have a stowaway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. Five um, minutes? All right. Free well. floating radiation. Cool. Let's turn the SB7 on. We'll walk down this way because there's some cool ghost prior history outside of the window down here. Nice. How many people are up here with us right now? Can you count all the humans? What's 
set town across the water. Jared, come here real quick. You film straight across up that street over there where the lights are. Up that street is where Ghost Crash shot their first investigation in Illinois, in Rock Island at uh, the Hickey Brothers Prohibition Era Tunnels. I snuck around the building and heard you guys downstairs talking about Looney. That was his area over there. That man ran that town. Do you know John Looney? Was he from over there? I think so, huh? What's that big piece of equipment in the middle of the river right there? This is an easy question. What is that called? Time you got left? Oh, we're we're good. We it's gonna do another uh, clip and keep recording. Oh, it is. Uh, oh yeah. All right. Um, what's the city that I'm standing in right now? What's the name of this town? Come on. Sure, I just heard it say Bucktown. Bucktown was the area of town that this we are in. It was known as Bucktown. It's all Davenport, but you know each town has its own like separate little areas that you know Bucktown, like over in Moline, you have Moline, East Moline, then you have Watertown. Here it was Bucktown, Davenport, or Rockingham, and then the East Village. All right, so I heard Bucktown. Can you knock that broom over for me? Let's go back down to where that free floating energy was and ask some questions there. Maybe there's actually somebody standing there, but it's been there the whole time, so I doubt it. <laughs> well, again, it's not supposed to free float, so it's fascinating, but yeah, that's not moving. Um, man, it doesn't indicate one way or the other. And there is a lot of uh, reeds in the first floor. Cannot be free floating, guys. Unless it comes up through the floor at like. But then we'll have a, then a, a, a tiny point and then fans out. No, it doesn't fan. It's not how, not how it works. So <laughs> it, yeah, it would have to have a starting point to go back, and then it'll it'll bounce back to that. Um, Why am I getting reeds right here in the air? What what's right here? I gotta find it again. <laughs> Doggone things not controlled. There it is. Is this a, is this one of you people? Or 2018, buddy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's not calibrated as sensitive as the K2, so that might be yeah. a thing too. What are we what's right here? What's this picking up right here? Wasting the whole day on. Let's ask some more easy questions. What's that big red building up there on top of the hill? It's a school. I want to know the name of the school. <laughs> What's the main use of this building downstairs right now? What's the business that's down there right now? This whole block. 
block used to be known for a department store, one department store in particular, and it was over there. What's the name of that department store? <laughs> Von Mar, that's correct. Von Mar used to be over there. Now we're talking. What's over there now? Uh, maybe they don't get over there much. I didn't Ask hear anything. about money. Uh, kind of money, money laundering or scheme, something like that. Money laundering? Was there, was there heavy mob activity in here? Is there secret tunnels in the basement as a way out just in case the coppers showed up? So if we go back downstairs with this, where's a good place to talk to you downstairs with the radio, huh? Can you say goodbye? Say goodbye, Nick, Aaron, Kelly, Jared. That's pretty awesome. I think we got some, some, some interesting stuff. Trying to put a story together uh, live for you guys, at least you know as raw as we can. Um, let's go downstairs, and we'll kind of conclude this. What was that? You want to know what they're telling me? Oh okay. god. Yeah. They didn't want yes. To up next, so. No. What's uh, what's going on? Um, My shittily investigation techniques. <laughs> now you just don't get to talk to them. Is the only difference. Um, She's so sensitive. What they were saying is that somebody actually died right here and it was shot in the lung. But the funny thing was, it was not, it was friendly fire. Hmm. There was a disagreement, there was a shot fired and they hit someone of their own. Did it come, did it, did it come from, uh, do we think it came from a floor below and shot through or do we not know those? No, it was on this floor. So do you think that might have been the anomaly that, at least within context, that maybe Nick spotted early on with his fantastic investigation techniques? They are fantastic. I just cheat. Huh. <laughs> well, that's fast. That's just what they're telling me. Okay, cool. But it was weird because they said it was it was one of their own. Friendly fire. Wow. They didn't use the friendly fire term. That was me. That was you being, that was you being PC? We're on the haunted ass space, guys, uncensored. <laughs> guys, <laughs> we'll use the, uh, the. They took out Joey the ice pick. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of the person who passed away? Uh, friendly fire here, guys. Hopefully, it's Joey the ice pick. <laughs> it's not Joey the. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I am happy to know that Joey the Ice Cream lived a long, fruitful life. It was Johnny Reed. Maybe it was Johnny the Ice Cream. 
Yeah. Guys, I think we got Johnny on the last day. Johnny the ice pick for Bugs. Johnny the ice pick. I will also accept Steve the ice pick. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we're gonna go down on the floor that we met Kelly on, and we're gonna play a uh, card game. Where Kelly was supposed to be. And uh, Kelly, <laughs> you know what? That's okay. Kelly's our ghost. I got here late. I didn't get to see her floor. Don't listen to her. She's off. Alright, Jerry, let's go. I'll follow my head. Okay, boom. What? Oh, uh, I didn't get it. Oh, wow. Guys, nice. yeah, uh, no. well, we that that bell sound was Nick, by the way. Uh, that one was too. Devices. We're gonna play a, a little game here, guys. Um, let me jump to a different application it's called Spiritus um, by Keith Weldon again from uh, ChillSeekers.com. Pretty awesome. A device uses phonemes, um, so not real words. It's own controlled sound bank. But we're going to put Jared briefly on the camera. Um, <clears throat> And Welcome to Spiritus. Here we go. Look, it's the ever elusive cameraman. Oh my gosh, you are. Oh, thanks for having beautiful. me. Beautiful. I'm a huge fan. It's, it's, it's Jared. It's Jared no, no autographs. It's please. Jared the Ice Pit. It's, <laughs> that's what he goes by. I've, I've been that's called, his I've been mom called name. worse. I've been called way worse. <laughs> All right. Um. Well, Jerry, let's. Uh, I think the bar be good set up. Yeah. 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 I totally explain exactly what uh, what you threw out. Well, my way. If you're ever a fan of like things in pop culture that take place usually in New York City, a little street game called Three Card Money. I first learned about this game watching the '80s Ninja Turtles cartoon. Ironically, that's that's fair. But uh, I figured it'd be since we're in a bar, it'd be fun to try that out with the spirits. See if they can guess what. Find the card they need to find. Cool. But if only if I had some cards on. Man, me. only if we had some cards, guys. Uh, by the magic of television, <laughs> we already have some ready. <laughs> So, what we're gonna do is have the spirit find the king amongst the jokers. Uh -huh. Okay. You are talking the cards still, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank, God there's, oh, thank, God there, thank God there's not two of me. Oh. <laughs> well, here's a king amongst the two jokers right here. Oh, okay. That was Kelly the ice pick behind the camera. <laughs> thank you, Nick the ice pick. You set it thank up you. way too well, come on. Oh. Hot potato. Spirits throwing things around. Hot potato. Right. Hot potato. He's already, Hot potato. He's already upset. He's, he has cards up his so, sleeve, guys. Hey, can you, uh, can you put, you got some some money or some dollars? Can you throw down just to, just to make the wager a little bit more? They lack some monies. I'm a poor boy. Nobody, I feel Yes. <laughs> yes. Three bucks says you can't find the king. Oh. oh. So, so what I'm going to do. I'm Nick the ice pick. <laughs> I'm going to shuffle up the cards and we're going to use the spiritus to see if the spirit can find the king. So, I'll start with the king in the center. Got your two jokers. My hand is quicker than the eye. My hands are a little slow, so... More like the hands bigger than the eye. Right? Yeah, that too. Big hands, guys. Shout out to Braun Strowman, get these hands. Copyright WWE. Ladies, everyone. They shuffle them. The cards have been shuffled. Where is the king? Is it here? Here. 
Here. Yeah? The Spiritus does a lot of uh, reverse audio, and it's going to be hard since we're not doing any posts on this. So they may have given us the answer. One, two, or three. Three. One, two, or three. Three. I feel like I keep hearing three, too. Nick the Ice Pick has three bucks writing on this game. Three bucks. This is intense. All card three. What? Oh! <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> well, Thanks for coming out. Excellent work, guys. Give him the three bucks. We'll <laughs> have to take it and bury it in the floor. Buy yourself something nice. Yeah, cool. On, on that note, guys, um, that was pretty awesome. Awesome. That was an awesome game. Um, that's pretty. Guys, they got it. How cool is that? Um, so, yeah, Air G. Thompson and Nick Simons. The ice Aaron pick. Boots, the dice pick, Simons. Yes. <laughs> Kelly McCarvel over there. The ice camera pick. rocking it right now. The mystical ice pick. <laughs> Um, thank you guys so much. Uh, check us out, ghostcrier.com. You're watching us on viddy.space, thehaunted.com. Thank you to the Elizabeth Saints. Thehaunted.com. No, wait, no, sorry. Thehaunted.space, the ice pick. I think, <laughs> words, you're here. We love you. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for speaking with us. Aaron G. Thompson, ghostcrier.com. Uh, Patreon.com slash ghostcrier. Support what we do. We're going to build up the uh, field and move it forward. Can you guys say goodbye? We love you. Thank, for, thank you for speaking with us. My goodbye. Forget, don't forget about it. See you later. I heard see you. Call me the ice pit. I think they called me douchebag earlier. Nice. Yeah, that's my mafia name. That's what the G stands for, right? Say buck the ice pit. Ain't happening. Ain't, ain't happening. All right, guys. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a nice day. You guys are on TV. You made it. Thank you. We'll tell your story the best we can. With that, we're out of here. Peace. Bye. Thank you. Bye, guys. Come on. We'll go ahead and. <laughs> hey, everyone. You made it to the end of the video. Hi. My name is Aaron G. Thompson, ghostcrier.com. We do this on a, on a standard that um, requires some resources to be uh, provided since, we're, since we can't do what we're doing uh, yet um, as a profession and we still have a nine to five jobs. We do ask that you uh, support you know, patreon.com if you see a value in us because we really are pushing the field here at Ghost Crier. Um, or uh, you know, ultimately, just just check us out on other avenues. We have uh, a show we release on Viddy.space. You can get a subscription there. Check out Breaking Frequencies. Literally, it's our love letter to the paranormal community. To you, um, we go uh, break down the historical aspect, uh, the techniques, as well as the science behind it all. Um, it's again, it's really kind of the full package and no current uh, TV show really has all of that going on for it. So again, check that out and you can also check it out on Amazon. Yeah, Amazon Video Prime. It's a thing guys. So cool. Love you. We're, like, we're really rated pretty well on Amazon right now, by the way. I don't want to curse us. but <laughs> We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Expect more of these one-shot moments to be uh, popping on our channel. Peace, sucker. Love you. Thanks, guys.